And now this, from the EPA, quoting from their report on fracking. Okay, that's getting oil and gas from deep underground. Here's what they said. We did not find evidence that these mechanisms have led to widespread systemic impacts on drinking water. Join me now, Josh Fox. He's the director and the producer of the anti-fracking documentary, Gasland. Now, I took that as the conclusion of the EPA report. Well, well hold on a second. That's what I took as the conclusion. You disagree with it, correct? Well, absolutely. In fact, the EPA issued some, something of a retraction of that statement this weekend because it led to a lot of false reporting on the subject. One what we're thing. actually seeing here is a pattern within the Obama administration, specifically re with regards to fracking and the EPA, which is that when you see a scientific report, now this report is a thousand pages long. Nobody expects everyone over the weekend to have read the entire thing. But within the report, is actually really damning evidence about fracking contaminating wastewater in Pennsylvania, wasn't in Texas, that, and wasn't in Colorado. That the actual now, way that frac wait, wait. Wasn't that the actual way that fracking was conducted? It was mistaking in, in how fracking was done no, well, as opposed to the whole no, process itself. No, absolutely not. What this report says is that fracking contaminates wastewater. Now, I'm, uh, groundwater, wastewater. not wastewater, groundwater. What, what the EPA does, but however, not time and time again, not aquifers. aquifers, yes, aquifers. What the EPA has done time and time again on this issue is issue a sign scientific report which has actual science in it and then slap on the top of it a press release or a statement that says oh nothing really to see here we saw this in, two, okay. in, in 2012 hold in on a in Dimmick, Pennsylvania okay, okay, okay. No, now, hold on a second you want me to get my why, out, why would the EPA why would the EPA which I thought was definitely anti-fracking. They don't That's want you to question. frack. Why would they come out with a 1,300-page report which concludes we did not find evidence that these mechanisms dumped 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 dumped? This investigation that? started in 2010 at the behest of Congress and the behest of citizens. What we've seen since the Obama administration in 2012 embraced fracking as national policy, wants to expand fracking, is that they are dialing back all of these investigations which started much, much earlier in the administration when the administration did know what their position was. You think so what the you have to say, no, I, I know frack? this for a fact. Look, I've, you I've think the administration this. wants to frack? I, yes, absolutely they do. They, th this fracking policy is squarely on the shoulders of the Obama administration. For the past three really? years, I have investigated now, the news. For the past three years, I have investigated Obama administration's EPA and watched them time after time after time betray their own science. What you're seeing is a very deeply divided EPA, an EPA which has scientists in the okay. field who are going out there and they are uh, investigating this issue and they're coming back with, with uh, evidence that fracking contaminates groundwater. And then over and over again, the head office, the PR office, it issues press releases that says, oh, actually nothing to see here. We saw this in Dimmick in 2012. Surprise EPA went into Dimmick and said to people, do not drink your water. Uh, in private letters. And then, in the press, they came out and said, well, actually, this water is safe. These were things that were directly contradictory. Here's and this what is what is happening right in this report. It is a deeply divided EPA, well, if you're saying that. Well, it's an EPA that's under incredible influence of the oil by and the gas way, industry and of lobbyists, and that's been proven. By Greenpeace the foia the EPA. It's always that. Greenpeace by the way, foia the I EPA. own property in that area. And on you, the, on top you of the yourself, Marcellus to me, train. said at the break that it. you would not frack I there. bought it 12 years ago. Yes. Way and before fracking was even talked about. And during you know the what? commercial break, and you, you know said what? to me that you would not frack there. Yet, Why would you not frack in your own property and then prescribe it for other people Because in I'm in the watershed, and let me finish my story. And when I bought it 12 years ago, it was a joke in the area. This is way before fracking appeared. It was a joke in the area that if you turned the tap on, you could light the water. Listen, brother, it, that, that was way before true. fracking. And in fact, what? I am your neighbor. Are you I am kidding? your neighbor. Yes, I was listen, there. I bought the property report 12 years does ago. not premiere in the middle of a vacuum. There are 470 scientific reports right now, peer reviewed, okay. that state that fracking contaminates groundwater. That's bad for the air. It's bad for public health. I'm wrong about these, lighting the tap water before fracking ever are, appeared. You are absolutely I'm not because I did it myself. Because what we're talking about. I did it myself. I, I, I do believe you are lying right now. Lying? Because the point, yes, I do. The On interview your own is over, show. young man. The interview is over. I am <laughs> well, not lying. Okay. I did if, it if myself. Isn't it true that there's reports decades before fracking started that there was methane in the water there? Can you identify yourself? My name is Phelan Michael Weir. Okay, from where do you come from? I'm a journalist. Journalist from where? Ireland. From Ireland? Yes. Isn't it true? You're concerned about the fracking going on in Ireland? No, I'm concerned about the accuracy of the documentary. Okay, but I'm asking yes, you what perspective. You're, 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 you're a journalist from what paper? Freelance journalist. Freelance. You're a writer of blog? No. Okay. 
The report from 1976. Well, I don't care about the report from 1976. There were reports from 1936 that people say they can light their water on fire in New York State. No, I, I'm, I'm curious about why you didn't include Excuse me, this is relevant not... reports from 1976 or 1936 in the documentary. Most people watching your film would think that lighting your water started with fracking. You've said yourself, people lit their water long before fracking started. Isn't that correct? Yes, not relevant. Not relevant? Josh Fox, the director of Gasland, knew that one of the most dramatic scenes in his documentary probably had nothing to do with fracking, but decided not to tell his audience. So I put the exchange on YouTube, but before you could say flaming faucets, Josh Fox got his lawyers to force YouTube to take it down. I put it on another website, but using a bogus copyright claim, he shut me down again. This was censorship. What was Josh Fox afraid of? What was he trying to hide? I'm Brian Swistock. I'm a water resources specialist here at Penn State in the School of Forest Resources. I work for Cooperative Extension, do education and outreach and applied research projects. And specifically, in this case, we were doing a research project looking at the potential impacts of Marcellus Shale on private drinking water supplies. In summary, our study really did not see any clear changes in water quality due to hydraulic fracturing. We didn't see any increases in methane in water as a result of the process. What about the flaming faucets? Sure. Yeah, there can be many natural sources of methane, and it's not really anything new. It can have methane in water for a variety of reasons. It can be what's called biogenic methane, which is naturally occurring just due to natural decomposition. Maybe you're located next to a stream where there's been a lot of organic matter decomposing over time. We had some people that told stories of lighting their faucets on fire for years now, well, well before any of this drilling started. A flaming fountain, the most unusual artesian well in the country. 40 years ago, a well was dug in the front of the courthouse at Colfax, Louisiana. At 600 feet, they struck natural gas and at 1,100 feet, salt water. More or less discouraged over the matter of a drinking fountain for the courthouse square, they fixed up a small bathing pool for children at the base of the fountain and touched off the escaping gas. The result, especially at night, is a fiery fountain of strange beauty that has burned on and on almost half a century. There are even towns across America called Burning Springs. That's how much gas is out there. And George Washington and Thomas Paine lit the water on the Millstone River in New Jersey on December 15, 1798, 150 years before fracking even started. If you said to me Thank earlier you. that you Goodbye. would not want fracking in your own neighborhood, you're out of here, you're son. You're responsible for you to say you are on air out of that, here. That the rest of America should I, frack. Don't call me a liar. <laughs> don't ready? do that, son. Well, I, don't I mean, do it. you're clearly obfuscating the truth over Cut. and over again during this segment. That's it. Thank you very much, sir. Would you please leave? <laughs>